Hey everyone, today's book is Lego the Batman, Being Batman, a scholastic book. Hey, I'm Batman. I'm kind of a big deal. I'm here to tell you all about how I saved Gotham City from the Joker's biggest plot ever and made a whole bunch of new friends at the same time. It all started with me defeating the Joker for like the millionth time. I had just caught up to the Joker when he told me I spent so much time chasing him, we were basically best friends. I laughed. That's crazy. Even for a crazy clown. You're not my friend, I said. You never have been. He got away, but I totally saved the day. Later that day, I saw Superman on the news. He had just sent his nemesis to the Phantom Zone using this fancy projector. Superman said the Phantom Zone was a jail for the universe's most notorious bad guys. Hmm. That night, there was a big party for Gotham City Police Commissioner Jim Gordon. And at the same time, Bruce Wayne adopted a kid, kind of by accident. Since I am Bruce Wayne, that meant I'd adopt a kid, too. Boy, was I surprised when Alfred told me I was a dad. Then guess who showed up? The Joker. And he turns himself in. I knew he was up to something, even if no one else did. Don't forget, I'm Batman. I also knew what had to be done. Up to something? Me? When I got back to the Batcave, the new kid was there. He was really nimble, small and quiet. He could totally help me borrow the Phantom Zone pro projector from Superman. But he needed a disguise. The costume was, uh... Well, the kid really seemed to like it, so... We snuck into the Fortress of Solitude and totally got the projector without anyone noticing. At first, I wasn't sure how the kid would do. But actually, he turned out to be pretty helpful. I went to the jail where the Joker was being held and totally zapped him. Booyah! That's how you do it. Like a boss. Our story should end here, but no. The new police commissioner, Barbara Gordon, locked me in jail. Me! In jail! Apparently, she was mad that I broke in and broke the law, which I guess I can see, since she's the commissioner and all. Barbara said that the Joker might have actually wanted to go to the Phantom Zone, but that's silly. I'm sure he didn't actually want to go there, but the Joker got a bunch of new powers in the Phantom Zone and took over Gotham City. He totally wouldn't have been able to do that if I wasn't locked in jail. So Barbara came and got me out of jail. Turns out the city needed Batman, and she wanted me to work with her. Alfred and the kid were there too. I wasn't used to working with anyone else, but the kid said, Just think of us as gadgets in your utility belt. That worked for me. First, my team needed costumes. They were all officially representing the Batman b brand. That means... Always wear officially licensed bat gear, trademark Batman. 
We hopped in my bat wing, only to see that the Joker had totally taken over Wayne Manor and the bat cave. There was no way I could let this stand. We had to make a creative landing. It turns out that the Joker had some tricks up his sleeve. No biggie, though. I needed a new plane anyway. It's cool. I had the team wait outside because I didn't want them to get hurt. But then the Joker played a supremely not cool trick on me and caught me in his funhouse. The Joker is your nemesis, he said. You blew off your team and you won't even admit we're total bros, friendos, till the endos. We're a nemesis. Before I could say anything, the Joker beamed me up into the Phantom Zone. It was totally cheating, because if he had given me time to say something, I would have had a great comeback. Project Phantom Zone Projector Export Options. It turns out there's a warden in the Phantom Zone. She told me the key to defeating the Joker, teamwork. That's what I'd been missing this whole time. The warden sent me back and I knew what I had to do. I came back and I apologized to Alfred, Barbara and the kid. Then we all teamed up. Go Bat Family! We pretty much defeated the Joker right away and he ran away to the Gotham City energy plant. He was done. Finished. And it was time for me to put him away for good. Well, I would have, but I realized something. The Joker is the reason that I lift weights until my chest is positively sick. He's given me the best fights of my life. Because of him, I'm a better Batman. In a weird way, we kind of are friends. When I told him that, he was pretty happy. Thanks, Batman. So what's next? Well... We had to clean up the city. The Joker, um, he broke like a lot of stuff. It was kind of a problem, actually. And that's it. I learned that with friends, you can pretty much accomplish anything. And I'm sure the Joker will be back to his old tricks in time. But for now, we're one big bad we're one big happy bat family and nothing is going to stand in our way.